That they that call on the name of the Lord will be what? Will be saved. Somebody say they will be saved. So if you're a church member, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you've got to see a different perspective of the pardon that God is bringing back to the church. Because he says in his word, if you read well, that this last day church will be greater and mightier than the former one. And if the glory of God in the last church is going to be greater, why you sit down and be so sorry for yourself and what you see? Why can't you just walk in the fullness of what Christ has said? Because we're living in the last days and the church is about to shine no matter what the devil is doing at such a time as this. Have you read your Bible and found out that every word that God has spoken is true? Amen? Amen? Amen. Have you read the word of God and fervently said, you know what? I am going to walk by what God's word says and not what the system says. The system is here to swallow you up and keep you busy, keep you running and enslave you and put a neck on you. Your lenders are coming over you. They're pulling your jacket. You got to pay. You got to pay. You got to pay. But God says you got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. I'm on your side in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The system is, is here to, to weary you and keep you flowing with fear. No sleepless nights. And, and some of you go to bed and you shake your leg until morning. You don't sleep real well. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen? But we are not of this system. We are not of this system. We are of the kingdom. We have been bought by the blood that's got a price. Only God knows the price. We can put the price on the blood of Jesus. So you can't tell me as a believer in Christ that you have two ears enough to get all the information that is invading the church in the United States of America. That's what Idi Amin tried to do. He says, I'll put these preachers in jail. I'll kill some of them. Might not survive it. Even then, he didn't manage to shut the kingdom of God. Even when he signed a decree and turned Uganda into an Islamic state, it never won. Because we are not an organization. We are not the system of men. We're an organism. That's what we are. We are unstoppable. We are a mighty kingdom. We are great people in the land. You've got to believe it. Amen? Amen. Which doctors try to put us out? When a witch doctor in Uganda tells you you will die, your legs shiver right away. <laughs> when the legs shiver, the heart runs out. And the people are going to see you dead. They tried. They failed. Matter of fact, they say you're going to die. We tell them you are going to die. <laughs> and they die. Oh my goodness. I didn't want to tell you that. <laughs> it's going to mess you up. <laughs> but let me say it because we have a mighty kingdom. Amen? Amen. Because when a weak says you're going to die, he says, my devil will kill you. My seed in that I worship with idols and human blood will kill you. And then we tell them, no way. There's never been a history where the devil has more power than the God I serve. There's never been a time. Let me show you what my God would do. The same thing you want to do with your devil, my God's going to do it to you. Done. When he does it, the entire village that he oppressed has one thing to believe. If their God was able to do that which he's been doing to our families, let's go right and begin to believe in their God. And that's the forces we've been faced in Africa. And we've survived. So when I come here and, and people tell me, mm, no, no, everything's not going... I said, what are you talking about? 
Have you ever faced a witch that points a finger at your eye and your eye you can't see, you can't see one eye, it's gone. And then he tries to do that to you and his powers are no more because there's a higher power that you and I have that need to tap into, walk into it, apply in our lives. And that power has been given to the church. And I pray the American church begin to walk in a mighty move of God like never before for such a time as this. Because you lived in fear for a long time. And yet God has not given us the spirit of fear. He's given us power and sound mind. And let me tell you, church, for us, we've learned those lessons. And what I see, what is happening here, I say, oh my goodness, we have to pray for this nation. The great thing that God has in this nation is the faith, is the believers in the land. The great men and women of God in this land. Those that hear can the voice of God can rise up and pray. And this thing is going to turn around in the name of Jesus. You hear me, church? It will turn around.